What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. Y'all ready to have some real fun? Y'all ready to step y'all game way up? Look, we're going to use this color scheme to produce this flyer. Y'all ready to get it popping? Let's get that dropping. All right, fam, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So you see that I have a color palette up here, and this is a color combination, or should I say a color scheme that goes together. And this is the design, or should I say the color elements that we're gonna be using to put together our new flyer. So um, we have some items already pulled up, and we just got, look, what, four items? The DJ, the um, font, or should I say the text, one radio and one bullet. And what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to come back and do a tutorial and show you how I come up with these fonts right here. I use um, Adobe After Effects and it's really cool because it really just, uh, you know, the more realistic your font look, the more dynamic your uh, flyers look, you know. So we're going to do a tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do that. Anyway, uh, we have these images pulled up and what I'm going to do is just... Um, select them all and drag them drop them into the um into the flyer all right so we got them um we got them all plugged in i'm gonna cut everything off except the dj and we'll start off with him so for now we'll put him up at the top so what we're going to do here is um as you see his shirt is orange the record is orange actually his shirt was red but i did it's the background scenes i did uh, you know change the color to his shirt orange um there was also some um you know, watermarks on here, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to tell y'all how I you know, got rid of them boys, but uh, you know what I'm saying? That's another tutorial. Anyway, fam, let's go ahead and start putting this together. So I liked that this particular image because of the dynamics of like his hand kind of had this powerful 3D vibe going on, you know what I'm saying? And the, you know, the, the, the angle and things like that. So we're gonna turn it so we can have this nice, you know, uh, uh, angular shot you know what I mean and we're gonna keep these colors in mind and actually we can start off with uh, with a green background so let's go ahead and um, select the background and uh, let's go ahead and color that boy here what we we'll do we we'll click the palette and bring it back over here so we got the palette but we don't want to use that as of yet quite not quite yet we want to use like the darker tones and i'll explain to you why and how we're going to do that in a second so let's go ahead and uh, make sure we got this layer selected let's paint a background the darkest green now we're going to come back to this lighter green but i'm going to show you how we're going to do it so with that um, being set uh, let's create another layer and really um add some grunginess to the background so we go ahead and get a paintbrush and we'll build up the background by just kind of building stacking layers so let's first get some paint brushes going on and um, we can kind of just add some texture so we'll brighten this up a little bit so we we'll bring it up here and just you know right there right there something like that you know a little Bob Rosses you know what I mean Bob Rosses Bob Rosses you know what I'm trying to trying to pronounce it okay then then we'll lighten it up a little bit create another layer and kind of just you know dirty things up let's go ahead and um, really make it like kind of organic by getting another brush with uh, with some other type of textures to it uh, let's say like this here and that's cool that makes it even brighter we're not gonna overdo it so let's shrink it and I do want some strokes but I want some irregular strokes so we'll click that there and we'll turn this upside down so we can get the paint strokes but not necessarily the paint brush yeah something like that see what i'm saying so we can really see some dirty you know dirty movement going on and then let's put a little something probably behind this head and then shrink it and uh, kind of just something like that okay that's that's uh that's pretty good and then we might can even beat that up a little bit um 
maybe we can go back in there with a darker color and kind of just you know go over that and maybe uh, maybe we'll work with one more paintbrush I don't know anything and kind of yeah something like that cool sweet all right so we got our background actually already popping and uh, it's looking up fairly decent now um, let's see here oh check this out what we're gonna do here is let's create another layer and we're gonna put this weird subtle glow behind them so let's go ahead and uh, make a circle and uh, we'll go ahead and pick the bright green there and we got everything selected so let's paint inside of that deselect oops sorry deselect and then um, go to um, blur and um, we'll put the Gaussian blur on it that way we can control how much we're gonna blur so we will kind of blow it up like yeah like that just like that because we really kind of want this this like real glow behind them because that's going to really complement this color scheme right here you see we are already very close you see that yeah let me shrink this down so we can see both images together see so we're working to do that and um, that's what we're trying to get so anyway that little that little halo or that little green glow adds to it now we're going to tone it down a little so I'm gonna kind of destroy it so I'm gonna get the brush and um, we're gonna leave a little bit of the glow but uh, I'm gonna get the uh, paint brush and kind of use this as an eraser and kind of erase a little bit of what may be like just a little too much right see so that's good that's uh that's excellent I mean excellent that's excellent all right we're under something so now we're gonna need to do something to eradicate that line but I don't want to do no fades or nothing like that because this is very uh, urban and organic so we are keep the paintbrush and we'll go down to black and what I'm gonna do is like go select the layer that he's in and go right beneath it and then we're um we shrink the brush down and then we'll kind of paint some little things to for lack of better words get rid of that or bring some other brushes and um, you know allow it to kind of blend in something like that and um, maybe something a little bit more I really love the uh, brush strokes for this so uh, let's shrink it down I want the people to be able to see the brush strokes here. Okay, this here might be too much, so let's erase a little bit of that. And um, come back with um, with a brush that got a lot of texture, okay? So it can be anything, and uh, I do want you to follow along the tutorials, but I do kinda want you to put your own um, twist to it, that way you won't be stuck to the notes you know what I'm saying? Um, you can kind of improvise on your own, and, and it's very important that uh, that you understand that you need to do that because I don't want you to be 100. I want you. I definitely want you to follow along, but I don't want you to be 1,000% stuck to the notes. Now, this right here is a, a something that I really. I only want this texture over here. I don't want this side. So we're gonna pit, get our eraser. And um, I'll go ahead and get this. I don't want this side over here. Although I'll, I'll put some back over there. But I really wanted this texture if you see that over there. I want that right there. Now we need to go ahead and since we removed so much, go ahead and put something else in here. Maybe I can turn this upside down because again, what we're looking for is texture. And that's good. That's the texture. That's the key to these style flyers. It's, it's all about texture. All right. So now we're on to something. We got something developed. All right, it's time to add some other elements. I think what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and pull up DJ. And let's put DJ in this place. And um, what we're gonna do, and this is the contrasting colors, right? So how it works is, when you have a contrasting color situation going on, 
you, you really do have to be careful how much color you use and you can almost kind of tell um, if it's too much or if it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? So right now, um, we look at this image and we see that uh, it's a little green. It's kind of, it's almost kind of like a balance, balance in between. You know what I'm saying? So we'll continue to work with it and then we'll build around it and then, um, you know, see where we go from there. So now we got the DJ going on here. Uh, maybe we can go ahead and pull up the radio right now. And, um, you know, we can let's maybe place it uh, like so. We'll shrink them down, put them over here maybe, and then uh, maybe get another one and maybe pull them over here. Yeah, nice. You know, nice animated little thing going on here. So we got, you know, we got a lot of activity going on. And then we can go ahead and um, activate our bullets and go and put our bullets into place. All right. And it don't have to be bullets. I, I kind of like like to use the bullets because uh, on, on these particular flyers, I'm kind of thinking battle. So, you know, with battle, you know, you're going to have bullets raining in the air. And it don't mean that when you go to the club, you know what I'm saying? You got to wear a bulletproof vest. <laughs> you know, that that's not the the idea. Um you know the bullets just represent battle and uh, you know uh, war and, and contest you know what i'm saying so you know a dj battle you know so that's that's pretty much it you know but but you can use whatever you would like to use all right and uh let's just put one more bullet for the road and uh, maybe we can kind of just you know twist it here all right so as we see we got a lot of grunginess but now i kind of want something with a little bit of structure so what we're going to do is um go up and to our brushes here and we're going to select something a little bit more um got a little bit more geometric shapes to it like significantly and kind of just oh i should have put that behind i'm sorry as a matter of fact i put it on them sheesh let me undo these but um yeah let's create another layer above all the rest and uh, we can kind of just put some dynamic shapes there and maybe change the colors a little bit and um, that kind of uh, put a little bit of like hip hop structure into it without, uh, you know, necessarily adding too much. And then we want to do the same thing, maybe like down here and add a little bit of hip hop, little hip hop structure. And the angles can kind of, you know, beam away from them. And the last thing I would like to do is actually add some more orange in there, but not too much. Right. So let's pick a brush that we can kind of get some lines, um, find some lines, maybe something like this. And uh, we'll pick an orange color. Or actually here, let's pick directly from the palette. We'll, we'll pick this uh, orange right here. Because when you pick exactly from the palette, the, uh, the colors really truly pop. All right, so we got that there. And uh, maybe we can put something like that. And maybe let's turn it a little bit. And we'll put something like that. And last but not least, I would like to add a blaze of fire because what is a war or battle without fire? So uh, I'm gonna show you a few tricks we're gonna do to make this fire really pop. But um, we're gonna go ahead and select this fire. We're gonna put it on, uh, let's say screen. And let's put it behind them. And I'm going to show you how we can make this fire pop. Now, you know, if we go here and you see um, screen, actually, I should do a separate tutorial on this. But if, if it's normal, you see that the fire is popping because it's, it's with its alpha channel. But if you put it on linear dodge, you remove the alpha channel. So the goal and the idea to make this back pop is put something beneath it that is almost kind of similar to, to its alpha channel. So what we're going to do here is select a, a brush, a smoke brush, which actually I already selected it, but I just wanted to show you what I selected. And we want to shrink it down in a way where it's kind of incognito. And then we we'll paint this in. And the darker we paint it, the more it will come out. Now, we, you want to do it in a way, you'll always try to want to do it in a way where it really don't, um, 
you know, blow out any other elements. But for the most part, this is it. Now, the other thing that you can do and really, really make it pop, and we're gonna create another layer real quick. We're gonna drag this over here and I'll shrink this down. Now it's time to add the glows. And that'll be our final layer before we add our text. So uh, I'm a speed paint, I mean, or should I say, I'm a time lapse all that because you know how we do that just to speed up the tutorial. All right, fam, that is it. That wraps it for this session. All we gotta do now is cut on our text layers and bam, bada bing, bada boom, we get it crumping like Donald Trump. And yes, that's right. All right, thank you for watching. Now here is the link that I promised. Now be sure to come back and watch this tutorial again, but this time use the project files that I have waiting for you over at www.todaysbeats.com slash urban style. All right, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time, see you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.